Hello and welcome to Fit News. I am your host, Jen Shaver, and today I have a very special guest joining me. Jody Rook is here to share her knowledge with, with all of us. And Jody is a Virginia native and has been serving the DC metropolitan community for over 25 years as a certified fitness professional. She is certified by AEA and also AFFA. She specializes in group fitness and one-on-one -on -one training. You can find Jody teaching both in the water and on land, indoors and outdoors, in person and virtually year-round in her local community. Her teaching style emphasizes training for cardio, strength, mobility, and flexibility. Her mission is to help women 50 and older live a life where they feel empowered in their bodies and have an improved quality of life with more energy to do the things that they love. Join Jody in her weekly classes near you if you can. If not, you get to hear from her on Fit News like today. Jody, welcome. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Yes, we're excited to chat uh, mostly about your mission because we share a, uh, a similar mission, don't we? <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> of getting women to feel empowered and live their best lives, knowing that their best is yet to come at 50 and over. So true. Yeah, I met you a year ago. Yeah, so. it was. A, yeah. yeah, yeah. Through a professional group that... She and I are in that has been amazing. And oh we've my met gosh. people that are trying to, I don't even know how to say it, just to uplift everyone and have better healthy lifestyles. Mm -hmm. And so, like she said, I am from Reston, Virginia, right outside of Washington, D.C. I've been teaching fitness for 25 years. It could actually be more, but we'll just say 25 <laughs> years. <laughs> Which I mean, you're only 29, so. <laughs> exactly. <right. laughs> and so it did, it started really YMCA Rest in Virginia, teaching stroller classes, which evolved. And now my kids are like 20s and 25 and more, which evolved into, hey, could you um, teach this water fitness class, which I had kind of taught before. Right. And um now I think back to probably at the time, those women were maybe 50-ish. And I actually still teach, that's one of the locations I still teach at. And they have followed me through the last 20 years, which is crazy. Wow. I just went to teach a class the other day and a woman came in and I'm like, she looks amazing. I mean, she has, yeah. they have not aged and these women are like, 60s, 70s, 80s. And so there's there's something magic about the water, mm -hmm. like something super magic. The hard part might be getting in. I don't want to get yeah. my hair wet. <laughs> I don't want to take a shower. I don't want to put my bathing suit on. There's like a, I don't want to, I don't want to. Uh -huh. But once you get in, as yeah. you see these women, and I've had men that are so hooked. Yeah. And one of the feel one feeling is you kind of get in and Water kind of makes you feel playful, mm -hmm. you know, more energetic. Right. You're not being judged. You know, you don't know. It doesn't matter if you go right, if you go left, if you make a mistake. Um, and at the communities that I have built, everybody's very welcoming. Like, for example, yesterday, a woman came in, had never taken a class. And my class of now of 40 people at the Y has gotten a lot more popular since pandemic. Wow. Wow. Um, I told her, you know, I explained her, this is what we're going to do. And I said, just want to let you know, we have a very welcoming class. Well, I, she made friends in like two minutes. I mean, that, it's just a very right. welcoming community. And I've been to all over the place and everywhere I've gone, whether it's at your local Y, whether it's teaching at I'll Go Outdoors when it's warmer, teaching in an apartment complex or a home community, it's always built on community relationships, mm -hmm. but the water itself, you can move better, better for your joints, better for mobility, right? strength. And it's like 12 times the resistance of air. I mean, there's so many good qualities. I could go on for like a whole day about. Right. You know, there's two things that I want to um, peel back that you just uh, talked about. One of them is, um, well, 
let, let's start with the community aspect that you just mentioned, because um, we know that that is such an important component uh, as we age, both for um, our mental health, because loneliness can lead to many health problems, right? So having that yeah. community aspect is important. Um, do you find, so, I mean, you, you also mentioned that many of these ladies have followed you, so they have stuck with it. So that community aspect has helped them to maintain, if you will, their physical fitness. Mm -hmm. And they want to come see their friends. I mean, yes, they want to get a good workout, but they're they're coming to see their friends. They're mm -hmm. coming for what it, the benefits of the water. Right. And beyond the water, they go out like any other fitness group. They'll go to lunch and dinner and weddings and they become family. Right, right. Yeah. So I would say, wouldn't you, that if somebody is struggling with their physical fitness to maybe, um, you know, phone a friend, right? Like they used to on that show, you phone a friend. And even if it's not, you know, no matter where, where it is, you know, maybe it's phone a friend to go for a walk or, you know, phone a friend to sign up for a class together, but whatever it is, that community engagement aspect is important. And the other thing that you mentioned was how long they've been doing it and how well they have aged. Mm -hmm. And I, I like yesterday, every time I go into the Y, because I have been there for 15 years. Mm -hmm. And so I have new members coming in. I have ones that have been with me forever. And I, I can't, there's like handfuls that I'm like, oh my gosh, they're in such great shape. Their skin looks good, mm -hmm. their mental clarity, their, their positivity on life. It just, it blows my mind. It right. literally does. Right. And, you know, and I think that that speaks volumes because, you know, we're not talking about doing crazy routines, right? We're talking about doing a manageable movement, incorporating so movement into your life and, you know, a lot of times exercise is seen as this, um, this no pain, no gain thing. Right. And yeah. Hey, who wants to sign up for pain? Not too many people right, are saying, Hey, <laughs> pick me. Right. Yeah, so so <laughs> these ladies have found a movement that keeps them going and has increased their longevity and improve their quality of life as they age. And I think that that's an important aspect. Yeah, it's so true because the water, nine, time, nine times out of 10, they feel so much better mm -hmm. the moment they leave. You know, you've got more flexibility and the buoyancy and you don't have gravity against you. So it's so great on your joints. It almost has, um, it has a lot of things. It has a more mobility. You can move better. You know, you could do a jumping jack that maybe you couldn't right. do on land, right? Mm -hmm. Almost last time you did a jumping jack. Right. Um, but you can there. Uh, it also has a massaging effect with all the molecules in the water itself. So it definitely has a lot of water provides so many different properties with the body that just makes you feel good. Right. All right. around. I can um I can tell you that I know when I was pregnant with my son, I was in water aerobics the majority of that pregnancy and he was a big baby. So <laughs> the water was definitely in the, in the last few weeks of that pregnancy, you know, being able to be in that water and still get my movement in without, uh, you know, any type of risk or, you know, I, I can say it really, it made a huge difference in, in how I, um, you know, got through that that pregnancy, you know, continuing with my physical fitness. I didn't just say, oh, I'm pregnant. I'm going to go sit down. You know, right. I found another way and, and I absolutely loved it. And you were right. It is the, those women in that class were just like a little family and I, right. I adore them. <laughs> they welcome you the minute you come in. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, huh. for certain. Um, huh. Let's talk a little bit more about um, finding movement that keeps you moving and the whole, uh, the whole balance aspect that you, that we talked about in your, um, in your introduction there. As far as in the water or, or out, just or in out general. of the water in general. Yeah. Okay. So my other passion and what I also like to teach since pandemic, well, yeah, it has been probably since about three years mm -hmm. since we all had to 
work outside. Yeah. Anybody... <laughs> Crazy that it was three years, yeah, right? Fit... I mean, I'm just like, wait, three? <laughs> Is it three? <laughs> I was like, whole thing. So us fitness professionals were like, hmm, we need to be creative. Yeah. Well, first of all, I learned Zoom like we're doing now, which mm-hmm. I am not a computer techie person. <laughs> so I incor- I started my own business three years ago and I do I teach virtual training and that includes the space in your home or if you're traveling wherever you are. Mm-hmm. I use very simple equipment. It could be a, a pillow, dumbbells, and we do some type of balance, strength, training, mobility. I offer that once a week. And then um, outdoors. I've literally been doing this for three years in my neighborhood in a parking lot mm-hmm. um, that I have incorporated movement, balance, strength. We walk, not like we're actually doing a walking program, but we'll walk a little mm-hmm. and then we'll get back and start to do different mobility, balance training. And as the water has such a, an amazing effect on your body. So does the being outdoors. I mean, even if you aren't even moving or doing anything, just taking a breath of fresh air, getting sunlight in your eyes, hearing the birds. I mean, it has so much for your body, mind, and soul. Mm-hmm. Um, and we live in Reston right outside of DC, which we used to have winter, but this, <laughs> this year we don't have, this year. I'm afraid to say it. <laughs> we uh, yeah, don't I know. Have, I know. We We're don't not have winter. In winter this year yet. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't, but the last two years that we had cold, cold winter for the Virginia right. area, mm-hmm. we still went outside. These women wanted to go outside. Right. And they're not like, outdoor hikey bikey kind of women but just being outside and where I had my space located in a parking lot a pool parking lot um and there was a building so when the sun would shine down the wind kind of blocked our area but we were in layers but once we got warmed up (laughs) it I mean everybody felt amazing right and so the benefits of yes moving community again mm-hmm. and then just being out in nature changes your whole outlook on life really right right and i think you know again you're in a parking lot right we're not talking about some fancy we have to you know join a fancy gym or whatever you can go and grab a couple girlfriends and create this type of movement you know, on a, Hey ladies, let's meet on Saturdays, every Saturday at this time. We're, and we're going to do this. Right? right. I mean, it, it's, it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, intricate or, or super involved. I mean, I think if we just go back to the idea of keep it simple. Right. And I, and I'm super simple Yeah. and, and same thing. You have accountability. Like if you're going right. to say, Hey girls, let's meet two o'clock on Thursday. Mm-hmm. you're going to definitely try and get there because you don't want to make anybody feel bad. Like, right. okay. And then once you're there, even if you're just walking or if you do some other simple little movement, you've already created accountability community and you feel better and you probably have not even done anything in like the last 10 minutes. All of a sudden your endorphins start kicking in dopamine kicks in mm-hmm. and you you get a time to focus away from your daily life and have time to focus in on yourself, which a lot of us women don't do. Right. Right. And it's, and it's so important. And, you know, as you mentioned, the outdoor aspect is another great thing because if, you know, if you say, well, I just don't have the space or whatever, go outside, right. Mm -hmm. Get out in nature because we know the powerful effects that number one, just being out in the sun can have for us, but then just being outside in nature itself. Yeah. So like you said, meeting a friend, Mm -hmm. getting outside doesn't have to be hiking. And we all have a pair of shoes, right? Right. We have no, we don't need any equipment. (laughs) I mean, you could just take your dog out if that makes you happy. Right. Um, or if you feel like you need an accountability partner one day, or you, instead of meeting for coffee, you know, maybe just meeting and let's catch up for a walk. Mm -hmm. Um, and again, it's movement is medicine. So however you can figure out how to incorporate that into your day and what brings you joy, 
And it's just, it's simple. It doesn't have to be anything like, I got to go outside. I got to put my shoes on, you know, <laughs> make it something that you're looking forward to. Mm -hmm. Right. Because when we find that movement that we enjoy, we are less likely to skip that activity. Right. I mean, yeah. if we say, oh, I, every day I'm going to get up at 5 a.m. and go for a run. Well, number one, if you don't enjoy getting up at 5 a.m. Yeah. and you certainly don't enjoy running at 5 a.m., how likely are you to continue to do that down exactly. the road? You know, yeah. whereas if you find an activity that you enjoy, whether it's walking with a friend or playing pickleball or, uh, you know, whatever activity it might be, you're less likely to skip it or say, no, I can't do that. And even just get started. Maybe it's right. five minutes, 10 mm -hmm. minutes. And the effect of that dopamine and just getting started, you realize, oh, that wasn't bad. Right. I feel really good, actually. That wasn't the worst thing in the world. Right. It was actually pretty good. Right. Even, you know, the other thing I was thinking, when I was teaching, uh, I would meet with a couple of ladies during lunch. We would have our lunch and then we would go outside the building and just walk around the building a few times. Oh, that's a good idea. And, you know, again, super simple, right? Didn't mm -hmm. take a lot of time. And we got to be outside and I did. I, I always found that that kind of helps you refocus for the rest of your day. Right. I know, and you probably feel the same way. I I have to get outside first thing in the morning just mm -hmm. to get my brain going. Right. And because I've been doing it so much that if I don't do it, I my brain doesn't function. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and it, it also helps with, you know, with, with better sleep too. Right. Because that Absolutely. all starts first thing in the morning. And if you get outside first thing in the morning, you've just set yourself up for better sleep. So ladies that are having difficulty sleeping, Maybe that's something that they could try to see if that um, improves their sleep. Yeah, definitely getting more movement in will help. Right, right. Um, what uh, what else did we miss there, Jody? Um, I know we talked about outdoor. I know you also have uh, an event coming up, correct? I a do. Glamping so event. To, I have lots of glamping. I like being outside. Yes. And so I've been trying to partner with somebody who believes in the same thing that I do <laughs> as far as outdoor um, businesses. And so I found this woman on social media who has a glamping business. And oh. so basically she sets up these really cool tents, very elaborate tents right. where um, she'll bring them in your backyard. Like if you want to have a bridal shower oh. you can take them to a winery. Um, she and I are going to do an event. She just started this about a year ago where we have a park, a local park nearby, which we have great hiking mm -hmm. and you could spend the night there and camp. But what we're going to do, it's on May 6th. If anybody's in the DC area, um, we're doing a half day glamping event. So I will lead a 45 minute hike. It does, it's nothing major. Right. Get out in nature. Um, and then I'll add some maybe stretching and balancing moves in there. And then we go back to her glamping tent where she has it all set up nicely and we'll do s'mores and drinks and just kind of see what it feels like being in a, if you, you think, I think I want to camp, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> this is really like bougie camping. Right? <laughs> so she has big blow up beds and comfy uh -huh. couches and it oh, just wow. makes you feel welcome. Right. And so, yeah, there is an opportunity that you could, we, I think she's going to do two tents. So you could spend the night if you had a group and wanted to, but if you just want to see what it feels like, it's going to be from like four 30 to nine, mm -hmm. so it'll be dark and we get to do s'mores and just feel like what it feels like to be out of nature. Right. If you've been wondering what glamping is about. So yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah. That. That'd be this great. Will be our first event. And, um, I was at a fitness conference because Jen and I go to those things to learn more <laughs> and um, hadn't been in a while, actually. Yeah. And I was getting ready to go to a session and the, there's a company called uh, Jet, Jetty Fit. Okay. I wish I had the poles with me, but I don't. They're these poles that look like hiking poles. Oh, okay. But they're a little bit thicker. I can send you some information or if anybody mm -hmm. wants to reach out to me, 
And you know, a hiking pole has like handles. Okay. And then it has like a stick to get into the ground. Right. But you can also cover them. So if you're on like regular surface, not rocks. Well, this is almost like, I don't know how to describe it, like PVC piping maybe, oh, but okay. not really. Mm-hmm. On each side, it has little round, kind of like a round ball, if you want to call it, but it's made out of tires. So you can walk with these sticks and they're very light. And just by, like my mom, I gave them to my mom. She's turned 81, fit mm-hmm. woman. And I said, I want to show you these sticks. I'm going to give these to you for your birthday. She likes to get out and walk. And so when I put the sticks in her hand, like her posture changed in like a second. Oh. So it's like holding something, right. and moving. It could help with your balance or it could even help with the arms with a little bit more strength just by bearing down on these poles. Right. So added and resistance. So, yes. Okay. So adding a little resistance, um, using some mobility, but I'm going to start incorporating that product in some of my classes because it's, it's a really, it's not a gimmicky kind of product. I really right. think it is beneficial to mm-hmm. people. Yeah. Um, so that is one thing. And then uh june june 10th and gilbert and i she is in the fitness industry she Mm -hmm. works as well with women 50 and older she has a studio in uh florida right outside of tampa she and i are going to co-host um there's a aqua summit that scw does if anybody's listening that's a fitness professional Mm -hmm. um if you are looking or thinking about maybe teaching an aquatic class but you just don't really know how to how to get it started. Um, she and I are going to be doing a co-hosting a workshop on 10, 10 successful tips how to get started in teaching aqua fitness classes. So, okay. Yeah. Good. I love it. Got a lot going on. A lot, <laughs> a lot going stuff. on for the spring. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, Jody, we thank you so much for taking the yes, time to join us you. today. And we appreciate all you had to share. I appreciate you and uh, hope to see you guys again soon. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me. Where can our listeners find you, Jody? Um, I am at Fitness to Go. Uh, oh, what is my? I gotta go look. My social media is probably the best way. Okay. Uh, Fitness to Go with Jody. I'm on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Okay. But if you need further information, you could reach out to Jen. Okay. All right. Well, thanks again, Jody. We appreciate your time today. Thank you so much.